Alright guys and girls, this is Shardy back for another update. It's day 32, 33, something like that of the tank. Um, and basically, not much has happened really. Um, I've just been pretty patient, but as you might be able to see, there is five little chromies in the tank. Um, I just added those yesterday. They seem to be pretty happy. All the parameters in the tank are very, very stable. I've got no ammonia, no nitrites, no nitrates. Uh, the only thing that isn't how, where I want it to be is the um, alkalinity and the pH. pH is a little bit low, running around 8 to 8.1. Um, and the alkalinity is around 6.4, 6.5. So I'm not happy with that. So I've just started a, um, just today, dosing alkalinity using the Profilux system and I'm going to show you a bit more about that in this uh, video but um, I'm just going to give you a run through this video I did have some footage that I took from about a week ago of the tank so I'm going to throw that footage in there and talk you through that uh, and then I'm going to move on show you the chromies in a bit more detail and what I'm doing with the dosing um, and the next video that I'm going to do straight away after this is I'm going to do because a lot of people have been requesting a detailed uh, look at the PLC, the Profilux Control. Um, so, there we go, moving into the uh, the old footage that I had. I um, don't know why I took this one actually, just one of my uh, little snails just hovering along. But as you can see, there, there is some quite long, pretty green strands of algae there. Um, and this was taken about a week ago, this footage. Um, I've forgotten the name of these uh, snails that I got. They're very pretty, um, massive things. I think they're called Truncus or Truncus snails, something like that. Um, they're pretty cool. Um, yeah, the sea hare, we said bye bye to him because he did a great job of eating up all the algae. And as it's, it's died down now, the algae, so we didn't want him to starve, so we took him back to the store. So bye bye, Roger. Um, you can get a view, good view here, right, of the, you know, just how a week ago this algae was pretty green and strong and hairy on the sand bed. And you can see it there also on the um, on the return pipe. And uh, you'll see later on in the videos later how that's really died down that, so I'm quite happy about it. And that's a look at uh, Juliet, who's just chilling around the tank. That was from about a week ago. Um, the clowns are really happy, settled in really nicely, so um, they're getting along with those um, those chromies. So um, these little cleaner shrimp, these are uh, these are doing really well. They've set up a little station in the corner, a little cleaning station, and you can dip your hand into the tank, and it's really weird the way they just start nipping all over your hand and giving you a good uh, clean up, which is uh, quite cool to see. So moving on to the, um, now this is the current videos, these are the chromies that I just put in yesterday. Um, they're cool, I love them, they swim around in a nice little shoal together, um, they're very uh, active and they, they do get lost a little bit in the tank with the size of them, I mean they're so small compared to the tank that you, you can hardly see them sometimes from a distance, but uh, uh, they'll grow in time. Uh, and I do like the way they swim as a shoal. Probably going to add three darker shade uh, coloured ones to the, this little group eventually. Um, and they get on with the clowns really well, which is nice. Um, they're way faster than the clowns when it comes to feeding time. So uh, clowns have got to fight a little bit harder now. So yeah, now this is a little look at the sand bed now, currently as it is. And you can see that it's... You know, it's dying back, it's all turning brown, that green algae. Um, diatoms are still there, but and just not as strong as they were like a few weeks ago. Um, so yeah, pretty happy about that. Um, this crab, we just watched him actually um, shed his, his outer casing, um, which we thought it was actually a dead crab in the tank. Um, and this is him just moving across the sand bed. But we, me and my wife thought we had a dead, you know, some kind of rogue crab or somebody that was killing the other crabs. But then we found out, obviously, that they do shed their uh, shed their outer casing, which is um, 
what you can see there on the rocks. We originally thought when we saw these that they were dead crabs, but they're not. They're just the uh, the casing apparently. So that was good. So moving below deck now. This is basically um, excuse the popping on the audio there, but this is what I was going to dose the system with this reef buffer. Um, but I decided not to because I would have had to mix it into a liquid form. So I went for this uh, Brightwell Alkalinity 8.3 uh, buffer, which is in liquid form. So it enables me to actually um, dose it into the tank. It's the recommended dosing is uh, it's, uh, 5 mils per 30 gallons. I think I've got around about 140 gallons. So yeah, that tube is then running up into the dosing pump there. And uh, from there it's going to dose into the tank, I'll show you in a sec. But uh, So I'm do basically doing 20 mil a day, um, and as you can see there is the, the pipe that it runs down into the sump that's dosing. I'm doing 2 milliliters 10 times a day, so it's a nice slow paced uh, dosing, so it doesn't uh, go up, spike up, and it moves up quite gradually, uh, so it doesn't stress the fish out too much. Uh, as you can see, this is my auto top off in action at the moment. Um, the one next to it is a tube that I will possibly use for salt top off, for a salt water top off as well, which I'm going to discuss in uh, the next video. Um, and uh, as you can see, the protein skimmer is um, is working. I mean, there's not that many fish in in the tank yet, but so it's I presume that's why it's not a very dark colour but you can see there is a fair bit of wee and poo in that skimmer um, and it seems to be doing its job nicely I'm probably going to change that out today um, you can see yeah that's the Venturi pump inside the skimmer just bubbling away there don't know why I took a video of that but uh, there you go and here is the Fuge which um, I got as you can see I've got some Cheeto Morpha in there um, I split it into two balls and it does actually seem to be growing. Uh, there's a very thin layer of Miracle Mud across the top of the uh, sand bed. Um, and yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. I th I'm sure it is it is growing a little bit, this Geomorpha. So I'll have a look at that in a month's time and see what's going on. Oh yeah, got my battery back up working now. Um, so that is actually um, powering one of my pumps. This one on the left, this... Uh, this driver on the left uh, which is basically this pump here this MP40 that one stays on in the event of the power cut and uh, also my Radeon LED central one here stays on in the event of a power cut so that basically will run for about well over 12 hours and I never get more than a six hour power cut here so I'm happy with that just thought I'd show you um, this this is the mounting of wires that's just above my dosing pumps hidden behind the back um, just I had to tackle these and try and keep them out of the way um, so yeah next video is basically going to be um, is going to be just a detailed look on the PLC uh, the Profilux control software which does all my automation because like I said I had a uh, number of people asking me they want to see a bit more about the automation side of things and how that works so I'm thinking I'm doing a, like a 15 minute video just quickly running through all the um, all the areas uh, very very fast I'll be going just through all the areas of the Profilux a little overview and how I'm running it in certain, certain ways and what I plan to do in the future but um, yeah I'm really happy with the way things are going with the tank and you know thanks to everybody's comments and stuff it really you know gives me extra confidence to know I'm on the right track um, everything's going great I'm really interested to see how this dosing goes and whether I can get this alkalinity at, at 14 and the pH stable so thanks for watching everybody Shadi signing out